Wednesday, so what's that? Three days. Give it to her. Yay! Hey, we'll tell you this uh, while we um, while we get situated, right? Did anybody hear anything that stood out particularly when she read this? Um, what spoke out to me is um, by being challenged and, and learning from others that crisis gives us a way to cope and a way resources in order to deal with the crisis that we're experiencing and that being around others not only gives us strength but we can also learn something from someone that we didn't know before maybe we know and forgot mm. but we take that knowledge like just just because i lost my clean time doesn't mean that i lost all the knowledge that i had to go from home to that. Okay. Thank you for saying that. We tell you this, there's a word in uh, Chinese, right? I think it's Chinese. Chaos. Yes. Right? Chaos. That word chaos, right? Now, the difference in Chinese words and American words is they kind of like, uh, they symbolize, they rep rep represent something. Yeah. So the word chaos not only represents, the, you know, the problem, but it also means there is an opportunity. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So when you see the word, it means something. So it's chaos and opportunity. So another, uh, 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 another uh, field, right? Whenever you have a problem, a problem also represents an opportunity. You see what I'm saying? So I want you to understand, though, even though you was in N1, just coming in, relapsed, you know what I mean? Sometimes we think it's the worst part of our life, but guess what I'm here to tell you? Yeah. It's actually the best part of your life. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because only losers don't get back up. Get a second chance. Some don't have a second chance. It's over for somebody. You know that? Somebody right now is getting a phone call that their daughter, that their son, got a toe tag. Ain't too glad it's not you. So you have to take advantage of opportunity. It's a word called poor. People overlooking opportunity repeatedly. I'm pretty sure this ain't our first rodeo. This ain't our first rodeo. Mm -hmm. This ain't the time that we told our wife, I'm, I'm going to get it together this time. I'm going to bring the check home. I always got robbed by the same person. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I used to tell my man, hit me good, hit me good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, matter of fact, rip my shirt, rip my shirt. Because when I go back, I got it got to be good because the ladies I used to deal with, they'd be like, I'm tired, motherfucker. I'm tired of this shit. Ain't you tired of living like this? Yeah. Let me say also one thing before we move forward. In the, in the Bible says what? In the beginning was what? The Word. Right? I'm here to tell you something. There's something in the beginning that creates who you are today. It's called habits. In the beginning, right, man picks the habits, and then the habits make the man. No. The habits. So what are your habits? Are you a curing while you're here? What are you doing? Are you a person that gets what they say? Uh, diverted to the fire tower? I got you, homie. I got, I got a plan I want to get you to. Are you a, is it an emergency? No. Okay, I got you. Uh, are you a person that gets diverted? Are you a person that's like, you know, because now it's real crowded. The Eagles ain't in the playoffs anymore. Uh -huh. When the Eagles in the playoffs, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? We had two, three people down here. I want to just tell you what the, you have to keep the main thing, the main thing. If you was out there using, guess what you, we'd have probably did with that TV? Sold that shit. We'd have sold the TV. So we have to develop our priorities. You got to start hanging around some people who want to get their life together. Don't just hang around people just here to get a food stamp cut back on, because that's the person I used to be. I'm just here for a wake up. That's it. Get my little weight up and all that Ridge Avenue shelter. I was at the, I was in shelters when shelters were shelters. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was Ridge like Avenue jail Park. on the street. I'd be in, I, you know, get up in the night and go to the bathroom. I go downstairs to you know jump. They playing sexual healing in the men's room. <laughs> I like this some bullshit, so I can go downstairs to the next one. And they got chicken bones and, and you know down no. the toilet and, and they piss in the heat vent. This is the kind of environment I came from. But I just was just trying to survive. So I want you to come in M1, not understanding, not only that you're a survivor, but you're a winner. You just have to take advantage of your opportunity. Don't let yourself get in the way. 
I don't think anybody, I don't think, did I? Do Kirk buy it like this? Is this a trap house? All right, Bill, come on out. We want to get your life together, Dick. Kurt Bride do that for you? No. You went and sought out Kurt Bride, right? Yeah. For their resources and the opportunity to get your life together. Yeah. Who going to take advantage of it? This is the first of the year. Most likely what you do now is what you're going to keep doing. You understand? That's why I said habits. Habits. I'm telling you, you should be scared to death to get your life together. I'm telling you, because your children is dependent on it. Your wife, your husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, something, whatever you got, so somebody love you and want you to want you to win. Ain't you ready to win? Yeah. Yeah. I can't hear you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I still can't hear you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Knight, let's go. Thank you, God, for last night's rest this morning. Rise. Thank God for his grace and his mercy. Grace is always giving me what I don't deserve. And mercy is not giving me what I do deserve. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. How right, everybody doing? All right. Only got like 30 minutes, all right, so we got to move expeditiously, and we're going to talk about what? Coping skills. I got 14 years, well, I got 13 years, but that's all we got is what? Today. today. like to stay in today, all right? Coping skills, all right? Number one, remain open-minded. Uh-oh. Remain open-minded, mm -hmm. all right? I'm a man. How many men listen to women? How many women listen to men? Okay. <laughs> now you see why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, for those who shot dope and for those who smoke coke, is the ears open? For those yeah. who smoke wet and to those who smoke weed, is the ears open? Yeah. For those who are Democrats and those who are Republicans, is the ears open? open. Yeah. And for those who are from Kensington, for those from the suburbs, is the ears open? Yeah. If you Caucasian and black, are the ears yeah. open? Yes. Yeah. The text or the, the people that would come here, work here, they never shot dope, never smoke coke, never been in trouble, probably got good insurance and good credit. Yeah. Can they help us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, what up? That's right. Why? Because what? The mind is open. Mm. Anybody hear that? Yeah. You never know where your help is going to come from. Mm -hmm. I never liked uh, rock and roll music. But my mind got open one day and I wound up, I love the red hot chili peppers. Yeah. <laughs> I like smashing pumpkins. I like Kurt Cobain. I like the monkeys. I like the Beatles. Yeah. 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 Come on. <laughs> Don't forget Billy Joe. Joe. Billy Joe. That's right. Right. So I'm more than just a black man. Listen, I get into all different tacos. I like Pavarotti. Opera. The mind is what? Open. You'd be surprised what you love once you open up that. Mind. Mm -hmm. Number two, stay focused through the hocus pocus. Stay focused through the hocus pocus. Who in here, your, 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 your doses is higher than it needs to be? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Their they doses is like on a methadone moon. Mm -hmm. Anybody hear that? Mm -hmm. Way up. Come from up from down there, up there. Get your ass down here. Mm -hmm. Always sleeping. Wake up. Mm -hmm. One girl said before she came out here, she said, listen, she said, whatever mess she takes, she go take a shower. She take a mess, then she go take a shower, then she bump her head. Mm. She said, I, I bumped my head last night, and she came and she showed me a mark right on her head. I said, well, won't you take a shower first, then take your mess? She said, maybe I might, that sounds like a good idea. I said, I think, I think so too. Anybody here know what I'm talking about? Yeah. How about it's a thief on the unit? Yeah. Stay focused. Somebody's taking things, touching things that don't belong to what? Yeah. How about somebody who he don't wash? Oh. So now you got a thief, you got somebody over medicated, and you got somebody who don't what? Wash up. At least you can smell them coming. <laughs> Stay focused. Yeah. Hey, how about that phone, that hot box? Mm. Who be on that phone all day long? Pain. 911 pain. Before I got on the phone, I had my spirit was up. My passion was up. My, my, my happiness was up. Soon I got on the phone, made a phone call, everything dropped. Like Wall Street. Like yeah, that thief, that thief thinks they get away with everything, but they just don't know. Right. She said, you heard what she said? What's, what's going on? She, okay. She said, she said, what's done in the dark always come to the what? To the light. Come out in the watch. Come out Right, we reap what we sow. Anybody hear that? Yeah. So if you if you if you pull and move maneuvers and you think.